Okay, chemistry, and this is KJ here going over part two of 1.04. So where I ended was the idea that the number of atoms per mole is always the same, no matter what element, but the molar mass or how much one mole weighs is going to be different. Just like if I have a dozen kittens oh, and a dozen cars, I have 12 of each. But obviously, these are much heavier. Same idea that a mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and a dozen is 12. All right, so five moles of water is blank grams. If you can answer it, hit pause and get your answer. If not, where do we start? Well, you always start with what I give you. So five moles of water, and what do you do next? You put it over one. Okay. Then the next thing that you're going to do is make your next fraction. And on the bottom of our next fraction is going to be what units we want them to cancel. So it's going to be moles of water. And what are we changing into? Well, we're trying to find grams, right? So grams of water. All right. So now we have to figure out how many moles of water equals how many grams? So one mole is how many grams of water? We'll get that back set up. So we look at our periodic table. And how much? 1.01 grams per mole. And each oxygen is how much? 16.00 grams per mole. If you do not know how I'm getting these numbers, I'm looking at the periodic table. You should have one in front of you all the time when you do chemistry. For oxygen, I'm just taking the atomic mass and I'm rounding it to hundredths. All right, now water is what formula? H2O. So that means I have to do what? Times that by two, because there's two hydrogens for every one oxygen. And then I add it up. So Two times 1.01 plus 16.00 gives me 18.02 grams of water is the same as one mole of water. Put in your calculator. I multiplied 5 times 18.02. You multiply by everything on the top. You divide by what's on the bottom. But moles water canceled out. And so all that's on the bottom are 1, so that's why we ignored it. All right, Al2ClOH5 is antiperspirant. How many moles are in 30 grams? All right, so where are you going to start? Again, if you can do this on your own, hit pause and get your own answer. Otherwise, what did I give you? Started with 30 grams. So write 30 grams, put it over 1. The bottom of my next fraction has to say what? Grams of Al2ClOH5. All right, and then I want to find moles. Okay, so you should have all this set up every time. If you're having a hard time with this setup, that's okay. Come see me so I can help you. All right, so I'm converting to moles. And one mole is the same as how many grams? So you got to look on your periodic table. How much is aluminum? How much is chlorine? How much is oxygen? Hydrogen. And... Then you should come up with 147.48. If you did it, I'm wondering if this 5 threw you off. So how I got the 147.48, I looked up aluminum, which is 26.98. So 26.90 times how many? There's two atoms in every molecule, so times two. Plus chlorine. All right. So then I look up chlorine, 35.45, and how many chlorines are there? Just one. Plus, now I look up oxygen. Oxygen is what? 16. Oh, and how many oxygens do we have? Got to distribute the five, so we have five oxygens. Plus, what do we have left? 
plus we have hydrogens. Each hydrogen is 1.01 times. How many are there? There's five. Okay, so that's what you have to do to get your 147.48, which is the molar mass of Al2ClOH parentheses 5. All right, in your calculator, you're putting 30 times 1 divided by 147.48. Again, you multiply everything across the top, divide by everything that's on the bottom. Make sure you're putting in your calculator so you know how to do it, and you get 0 0.20 moles of Al2ClOH5, or antiperspirant. And just so you know, um, like the little thing of secret that I put on here, in real life, those are usually about 75 to 80 grams, so this would be about half the container if it was that much of that chemical. Obviously, in your deodorant, there are other things along with just antiperspirant. So, all right. That's what I got for you. Go ahead and do the worksheet. As always, if you're struggling, please come see me for help.